My name is Irina Kiyayeva. I was born in Russia. I came to the United States when I was uh, five years old. We started from nothing. We, uh, so the first year we moved here was 1994. My parents didn't know better, so they kept their money inside the house. Six months within our move, somebody broke through our window. We lived on, in an apartment, and they took everything. Uh, thank goodness our family um, like, kind of helped us get through that, because we were just six months out. We didn't speak any English. My mom, her first job ever, she was cleaning bathrooms. and. My dad's first job, he was, he was a, a driver. I mean, it, it brought us up in a more humble way, so I'm not, I will never forget that. And just being access, accessible to medications was really hard. Uh, growing up, when we traveled uh, to the United States, it was kind of like eye-opening for everyone, like, what? Like, there's a pharmacy right here. How are you able to just go to the doctor and just get a checkup so easily when it was so hard and scarce? in Russia, so that's just something that resonated with me and I always knew that I wanted to be in the medical field and pharmacy is where it kind of ended up. I had really good grades in uh, middle school and, and um, high school. I had dreams of going to a really nice prestigious college and then I decided let me just apply to pharmacy schools and just see like where it takes me and then I applied to pharmacy schools all over. I went to Marshall B. Ketchum in California. Of course I got loans out of um, uh, the loans that the school provided and then when I heard about JELF that's when we decided to apply or I decided to apply and after I got the uh, email saying congratulations you um, are offered this interest free loan that's when I was uh, pretty ecstatic because all the loans that I was getting out all the interest was accumulating and I just don't want that. For those three years it was just back to back like thankfulness and I just didn't have to take as much loans out from my other um, grad school loans so it was just very very, very like a nice surprise and just being a Jewish loan um, it just gives a confidence that um, that we do look out for one another and honestly it after I repay my loans um, within that set amount of time I want to give back by donating as well and can't wait for that to happen.